hi in this video we are going to see how the pump is done with priming generally the pump is supplied with the proper air connection and at the suction water line is connected discharge there is a manifold gauge and a needle wall once we connect air supply to the pump and if the suction line is properly connected duly primed the water starts coming out from the outlet of the pump or discharge side of the pump so here the discharge is happening properly because priming is done already and in the water line there is no air trapping etc no cavitation air trapping etc if the water doesn't come when the pump is installed with all connection done properly there could be problem with the priming and we'll see how to do the priming we intentionally try to do cavitation right now start the pump here some water is coming out right now now the water has stopped coming out of the pump here because in this line there is no water and air is filled now we will see how to do the priming the air supply of the pump has to be switched off while doing the priming mm. the suction pipe has to, pipe has to be taken out from the tap or the tank and it has to be raised up this way and we have to fill water into that suction pipe until the water starts coming out or the pipe is filled completely now the pipe is filled completely here in this case we will start the pump now so that whatever water which is filled into the pipe will start coming out or level will go down now we will again fill some water into that the level has come down we will fill more water to that pipe it is filled now again we will start the pump now the water has started coming out from the we fill some more oil no more water into that and we'll immerse the pipe to the uh, we we have to connect the pipe to the tap or to the tank right now for demo purpose we'll immerse it into the bucket now the pump has started giving discharge complete discharge in case if uh, in case of smaller plunger pumps like 10 dia 14 dia sometimes just by filling the water into the suction line doesn't help so you have to do you have to give some air pressure after the water is filled that will show how to do that take out the pipe from the bucket pipe will just see how to do that fill the water into the into the pipe first we are filling the water if that water doesn't go then you have to pressurize it from the top side you have to apply some air pressure yes so here the water starts coming out this way so uh, this is the uh, basic process of priming the pump